Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to Introspective LifeWorks. In today's video, we are going to discuss do RH negatives suffer from autoimmune illnesses? We will then look at what is autoimmune illnesses, what are the diseases associated with it, what causes it, and what can you do to prevent it. So sit back, enjoy, get ready to learn. Illness do not come upon us out of the blue. They are developed from small daily sins against nature. When enough sins have accumulated, illness will suddenly appear. I strongly believe that we have the ability to heal our bodies, but in the environment we are currently living in, we are constantly being bombarded with toxins and things that make us make bad choices. An autoimmune disease is a condition in which the immune system, which is designed to protect the body from foreign invaders such as viruses and bacteria, mistakenly attacks and damages its own healthy tissue. Normally, the immune system produces antibodies and specialized cells that target and eliminate foreign substances or cells. But in autoimmune disease, it produces autoantibodies that attack healthy cells, tissue, and organs. This can cause inflammation, pain, and damage to different parts of the body, leading to a variety of symptoms and health problems. The most common autoimmune diseases include multiple sclerosis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, type 1 diabetes, Graves' disease, psoriasis, Hashimoto, thyroiditis. There is some evidence that suggests that individuals with Rh negative blood types may have a higher risk of developing certain autoimmune diseases. For example, research studies have linked Rh negative blood types to an increased risk of developing autoimmune thyroid disorders such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. Additionally, some studies have suggested that Rh negative blood types may be associated with increased risk of developing lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or multiple sclerosis. Although more research is needed to fully understand these associations, it is important to note that having Rh negative blood type alone does not mean that you will necessarily develop an autoimmune disease, and many other factors can play a role in disease development. The symptoms of autoimmune disease can vary depending upon the specific condition and the part of body that is affected. However, some symptoms are common and include trouble concentrating, fatigue, muscle stiffness and weakness, joint pain and stiffness, swelling and redness, skin rashes, respiratory problems, digestive problems such as diarrhea or constipation, reoccurrent or low-grade fever, hair loss, sensitivity to sunlight and other environmental factors, numbness and tingling in hands and feet. The exact causes of autoimmune disease are not yet fully understood, but it is believed that a combination of genetic and environmental factors play a role. Some common risk factors that may increase the likelihood of developing autoimmune disease include the following. Genetics. Certain genetic variations may increase an individual's risk of developing an autoimmune disease. Sex is a determining factor because women are more likely to develop autoimmune diseases than men. Environmental factors, exposure to certain chemicals, toxins, and infections may increase the risk of developing an autoimmune disease. Lifestyle factors, smoking, poor diet, stress, lack of exercise, may also contribute to the development of autoimmune diseases. Age is a factor. Some autoimmune diseases are more common in certain age groups according to research. Medical history. People who have had a family history of autoimmune diseases or have had previous infections or illnesses may be at higher risk for developing autoimmune diseases. 
It is important to note that having one or more of these risk factors does not necessarily mean that an individual will develop an autoimmune disease. Additionally, some autoimmune diseases may occur spontaneously without any known risk factors. While there is currently no way to completely prevent the development of an autoimmune disease, there are steps that individuals at risk can take to decrease their risk of developing the disease or manage symptoms if they do develop it. These include the following. Eating a healthy diet. A diet rich in whole nutrient-dense foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources may help reduce inflammation and support overall immune functions. Stay tuned. The last part of this video, I will discuss cures and prevention for autoimmune diseases using herbs and other natural holistical food sources. Exercising frequently. Regular physical activity is important for maintaining a healthy weight, reducing stress, and supporting immune functions. So get moving. It's for your health. And if you do it out in nature, it helps reduce stress even quicker. Reducing stress. Chronic stress can contribute to inflammation and immune system dysfunction. So managing stress through mindfulness, meditation, and breathing exercises can be beneficial for your health. Getting enough sleep. A consistent sleep routine with at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night can help support immune function and reduce inflammation and allow the body to heal. Avoid environmental toxins. Environmental toxins such as pesticides and air pollutants may increase the risk of autoimmune disease. Reducing exposure to these toxins through cleaner living practices may be helpful. Seeking medical care if symptoms develop, early detection and treatment of autoimmune diseases is important to prevent or reduce long-term damage to the body and quality of life. Well, there is currently no cure for autoimmune diseases. There may be natural approaches to managing symptoms and supporting overall health. Some of these approaches are as follows. Dietary changes along with going to whole clean eating lifestyle as much as you possibly can as mentioned before. Other beneficial dietary changes that may help reduce inflammation and support immune function include consuming more omega-3 fatty acids from sources like fatty fish, avocado, walnuts, and flax seeds, reducing intake of processed foods and added sugars, and incorporating foods such as turmeric, garlic, and ginger. Supplements. Certain supplements like probiotics, vitamin D, and omega-3 fatty acids may help support gut health and immune function. Acupuncture involves the insertion of thin needles into specific points on the body to stimulate healing. Some research suggests that acupuncture may help improve autoimmune symptoms by reducing inflammation and supporting overall health. Herbal remedies. Some herbs, such as echinacea, with its pretty purple flowers, is a powerhouse for revving up the immune system. Sarsaparilla is often recommended for gout, arthritis, and skin disorders. This plant is believed to purify the blood and reduce joint and muscle pain. Turmeric is especially beneficial for reducing inflammation and easing pain, as is ginger and licorice for the gut health and helps reduce redness and swelling in the skin. I have been using herbs on a daily basis for the past seven years. After going through nine months of aggressive cancer treatment, I educated myself in using plants to heal my body. It takes time and dedication, and at first you may not think it is worth it. Believe me when I say it is worth it. Being healthy is the best type of wealth in this world. 
Being healthy is a lifestyle. It is a balance of all those things I discussed previously. I have a friend younger than me, and she got diagnosed with lupus. She researched how to put it into remission. Her plan of action, a 28-day juice fast. After she completed the juice fast, she no longer needed her medication. I believe her higher self guided her on how to heal her body. I hope you all discover something from this video and wish all of you beautiful souls, love and light. Bye.